high students so after the declaration of results normally students would be uh, you know on the basis of the gate score and gate rank would be looking into what colleges uh, they would be getting and what specialization uh, they could apply into that particular colleges uh, and uh, iic bangalore you know is one of the top most choices uh, you know by the aspirants for higher education for mtech uh, courses specifically so uh, with that point of view in this video i am going to discuss about the cutoff trends of uh, iic bangalore based on the previous data uh, and uh, on the basis of that we can have an estimation now that you know what scores uh, are eligible to apply because um, you know uh, you know normally students will apply not only for one college of course they'll be applying for multiple colleges but whether you're going to get isc or not and is isc only at the very very top scores okay no you can get it at even uh, mediocre scores based on the different specialization so that is the reason i thought of making this video specifically for isc bangalore okay at isc bangalore you know you have the uh, interview element as well okay iit bombay is going to recruit anyways directly okay on the basis of gate score but uh, for isc bangalore Okay, for the specialization, especially of your concern, uh, that is the uh, EC and double E, it is 70% gate score and 30% interview, right? So, on the basis of previous trends, let's look into, uh, first of all, one of the uh, very, very preferred branch, the top branch, microelectronics and VLSI design okay all of the branches that i have kept is uh, you know as i mentioned 70 percent gate, gate score and 30 percent interview okay what are the cutoff for the last two years okay i have specifically included both the previous years so that we can get an estimation so if you can see and then this is the uh, gate score uh low to high range i mean uh you know uh, suppose uh, you know ec candidate through gate 2024 in i in isc microelectronics and vlsi branch Okay, the highest uh, uh, was 1000 score, so probably a single digit ranker would have taken it. Okay, and the 866 score is the lowest one. So you can call this as cutoff uh, primarily. I've included both low to high and uh, you know, this is uh, including all the five rounds of the co-op. Okay, after all the five rounds, okay, maybe in the first round you don't get many things. Okay, but after round two, three, four, five, you keep on uh, getting more and more options. So this is entirely out of round five. Okay, so for EC, uh, it was uh, 866, the cutoff if I specify. Okay, OBC category 692, SC 489 and SC 633. Doubly, uh, nearly the same, 863, uh, higher again 1001. For OBC, the cutoff 793 specified here. Okay, for instrumentation 844. Okay, now... Uh, Specifically with respect to instrumentation, this year slight trouble will be there because this, this year instrumentation uh, scores have been low, okay, and you know previous year aspirants will also be applying because you know gate score is valid for three years, okay, so instrumentation guys, if you're directly applying through the IN score, you have to be specifically careful, okay, the cutoff last year was 844, okay, and uh, uh, the for OBC 789, for SC 624, for ST 485, 2023 also if I see, okay, so the EC, 733 okay was the cutoff uh, you know for general for obc 604 for sc 451 and for st 326 okay so more or less if i sum up whether you are ec or double e if you are ec or double e okay if you have score for microelectronics and wheel side design normally 850 plus is the trend okay but but still if you have score you know 750 plus you can apply for it on a safer side okay if you are general category ec double e 750 plus okay so the trend if i talk about the trend 750 plus in general and respectively again you can correlate for OBC, SC and ST. Okay, so 750 plus is safe to apply but you know at 750 exactly may not be guaranteed. Again, it depends on your interview score as well. Okay, so that is why I am telling you 750 plus could be a, a safe call to apply for microelectronics and VLSI. Okay, you can definitely take a chance here. Okay, although it may be possible that the cutoff goes around 825 to 850. Okay, for general category. Okay, now coming to electronic system engineering. Okay, again one of the top uh, choices. Okay, because as you know, many of the professors in electronic system engineering, also known as DESE, the Department of Electronic System Engineering, uh, you know, as most of the professors here are the ones, uh, you know, have actually worked with the industry and they provide you the hands-on industry experiment and very good uh, placement. I mean, equivalent placement, microelectronics and electronic system engineering. Uh, so, uh, the placement opportunity, uh, all the placement procedures would be similar here. Okay, so now, uh, if you look into it, if you look into it, uh, last year, EC 762 cutoff, general category, EE also 762 cutoff, IN 675, okay, high ones also you can see. For OBC, uh, it was 682, okay, for ST 494, for ST 380, whereas if I come to EE, uh, general, I told you 762, OBC 718, and ST uh, data available is 415. For instrumentation, 675, general, four, 646 for OBC, 540 for SC, and 371 for the ST. 
Okay. Then similarly, uh, if we go one, one year back, that is 2023, EC 642, okay, OBC 571, SC 538 and ST 372. Okay, uh, for double OBC data is available directly, that is 703, SC 507 and instrumentation 783. Okay, for general category 651 cutoff for uh, OBC, 533 for the SC. Okay, so you know on the basis of this, on basis of the previous two summarizations and specifically looking into, uh, you know, they, they especially the ESE, the Department of Electronic System Engineering, they put a huge, huge pressure, huge uh, weightage to the interview. Although officially it is 70-30, but I know uh, how uh, focused they are on interview and how uh, crucially they give marks in the interview. They really try to see your concepts and practical knowledge. Okay, not like, like, like a depth practical knowledge, but whether you understand understand the things okay whether you are able to realize the concepts not only they try to see only your formal or numerical approach but your uh, visualization of that particular topic okay so if you really perform good in the interview so even you know easily uh, although in 2024 it was 760 but again for this particular branch if your score is 700 plus definitely even 650 you can apply but 700 plus i will call it as the safe one if you have score 700 plus, definitely you should take a call to apply okay for general category okay accordingly for obc i would say 650 plus Okay, for OBC, I will say uh, 650 plus. Okay, for uh, SC, 500 plus will be a safe one or for ST, uh, 350 to 400 plus will be a safe score to apply. Okay, so, uh, you know, this is what is the trends uh, for the uh, one of the uh, very, very favorite branches in IAC that is electronic system engineering. Okay, coming to the uh, core communication, electronics and communication engineering. Okay, uh, so, uh, you know, you're able to see the trends and it, it, the data is indicative in front of you. So, I don't think it's necessary for me to read every data. You can take a snapshot of it. Okay, but if I talk about the trends at what score you should be safely applying it. Okay, so I would suggest even if your score, okay, is 600 plus specifically easy because normally double E students don't prefer also this branch okay uh, so double E students can go to the specific double E specialization I'll come to it microelectronics and VLSI and electronic system engineering equally uh, you know uh, are, is preferred by EC and double E because many of the double E aspirants also are looking to enter into VLSI industry only because of the ample amount of opportunity okay but uh, you know uh, if uh, suppose you don't get uh, if you if you're not if you're feeling that you might not get in microelectronics and uh, electronic system engineering then EC students can apply specifically to electronics and communication engineering core one and electrical can specifically apply to electrical engineering okay but yeah, the trend, cutoff trend would be 600 plus. I mean, if you have got gate score 600 plus and if you perform decent in interview, you are most likely to get this, okay, including all five rounds. So that is why I'm telling just always not rely on the first round of co-op. Uh, you, can, you can be getting some offer maybe in the third, fourth or fifth round as well. And that is why I'm suggesting if you have 600 plus score EC, okay, EC 600 score, apply for this branch. Double E not necessary even to apply for this branch, I feel. Okay, and if you are double E at 600 plus, it is very, very safe to apply for this particular branch. Okay, dear, general category. Okay, uh, there isn't uh, uh, much difference, but yeah, you can still say if OBC 550 plus would be the safe one for ST for, for ST 400 plus and ST also roughly 400 plus uh, is the trends. Okay, now coming to instrumentation, core instrumentation. And again, I would, you know, although I have the cutoff for all ECEEIN, but again, if you are core instrumentation student having score of 600 plus having score of 600 plus okay uh, you can apply to the respective that means respectively ec double e i in the core individual branches uh, you know you can apply uh, from your respective branch paper only 600 plus i would call it as the safe one for i n as well okay now coming to uh, if you want to uh, still have the urge to go towards the ai okay that is the artificial intelligence okay normally uh, you know now uh, because many people will be entering uh, to this branches through the data science paper as well as through the computer science paper but still there are you know some positions for ec and double e okay uh, so uh, but definitely this will because uh, students entering from cs and data science as well keeping that into amount okay so if you have score 800 plus 6 750 plus also you can think 750 plus also you can think but i think this is tight 800 plus uh, you have a good opportunity uh, in case of general category okay because you look into the trends also for the both the years okay it is suggesting for obc uh, if you have you know uh, roughly i would say 700 plus it is safe to apply okay for sc this this would be i think exceptional only one of the double e student got it at 814 but normally uh, for sc if you have 550 plus uh, you can you can be applying it okay and for st uh, roughly uh, 400 plus is a safe call to apply okay of course exceptions are there but 
uh, this is what is the trend that is suggesting other than artificial intelligence if you want to go towards core data science branch okay so you have the computational and data science the cds uh, in isc okay again uh, you know again people from multiple this is interdisciplinary usually okay people from multiple branches especially the data science people also uh, the data science rankers will also be applying here okay so uh, similarly you know if you have ranks a score 800 or 850 plus only okay in case of general category 800 to 850 plus you can think about applying to the cds again offering decent placements as far as isc placement trends are concerned okay so uh, this is uh, the one okay now electronic product design okay coming to this one epd okay uh, the decent branch so uh, in isc with the decent plas placement record and you'll usually get it at you know moderate gate scores only okay so uh, you know this was pretty low for 2024 but still uh, it's not necessary that 568 you may get it or not you may not get it 600 plus Okay, 600 plus ECW, any of your bronze, 600 plus for general category would be a safe score. Uh, so, if you have 600 plus and you're looking for this branch, you can definitely fill up the ISC with the specialization of uh, EPD, that electronic product design. Okay, uh, for OBC, uh, the trends will be roughly similar, but slight deviation. I mean, uh, you know, if you have 550, 560 scores, still will be safe one. Okay, for SC, uh, you know, or ST, both of them, either of them, you know, 400 plus score, uh, you know, uh, can be a good uh, uh, call to take. Uh, to apply up for this particular branch right now coming to signal yeah uh, so you know all these branches that i mentioned till now had the 30 percent interview element okay the next two that i'm going to tell probably signal and semiconductor both of them 100 percent gate score okay both of them are on the basis of 100 percent gate score only on the basis of 100 percent gate score Okay, so signal processing, okay, uh, uh, you know, although the last year trends is 696 close to 700, but I will say, okay, as I will say 650 plus is a safe call to apply. So if you are ECW, either of them, and if you have score greater than 650, you can fill up the signal processing at IASC. Okay, in case of OBC, uh, the trends are more or less on the similar line. Okay, 600 plus, again, 40-50 uh, uh, score deviation can be taken here. Okay, in case of uh, SC, Okay, generally, sometimes it may be 414 as well, but for this branch, 450 plus and in case of ST category, 400 plus can be a safe call to apply for this particular specialization. Okay, coming to semiconductor technology, okay, again, all the numbers are in front of you, you can uh, have a leak, read into it or you can any type take the snapshot. Okay, but semiconductor technology, recently introduced branch, I think, you know, past two years uh, only it has been introduced, 2022 or 23 onwards exactly, I think I forgot. But yeah, somewhere 2022 or 23, not before that time for sure. Uh, and looking into the announcements of the government and looking into how the country is heading and uh, what is the policies of government with respect to semiconductor uh, companies in the future. So this is a very emerging branch and, uh, you know, uh, those who are going to opt this branch in for MTech in 2025, going to pass out in 2027 i expect that personally it's going to by that time going to have a very good placement it's still it has a very good placement record but by that time you have a good placement okay so uh you know uh normally i will suggest ecw 700 plus okay will be a safe score and this is only on the basis of 100 percent gate score okay no interview element for this one as well okay so 700 plus would be a safe one Okay, and again, in case of OBC, I would say 650 plus, although it has gone to lower also, but 650 plus is a safe one. Okay, 400 to 450 plus will be safe one for SC and ST around 400 plus will be a safe one to apply. Okay, this is what is the data suggesting to me. Okay, so this also, if, if you are inclined into, if you are good in, uh, you know, the semiconductor side, if you are interested to do uh, work in the semiconductor and still expecting good placement, this can also be a good choice for you. Again, uh, this is our basis on the, on the base of 100% gauge score. So, uh, you know, these are some of the common specializations that, you know, normally ECWE uh, would specify, like I've mentioned about semiconductor technology, I've mentioned about signal processing, I've mentioned about EPD, I've mentioned about CDS, I've mentioned about the AI branch, I've talked about the IN, the EE core and the EC core department, then the very, very famous one, the microelectronics and VLSI design and the electronic system engineering. Normally, this is what the toppers would normally prefer, whether it is ECWE or IN, any of them, this is what is the topper's choice because of, uh, again, I repeat, ample amount of opportunities in the VLSI sector. Okay, so uh, this is it. Okay, so the important branches that normally students should be uh, opting to apply, I have taken in this particular video. 
okay so the intent of this video was to just talk about the trends uh, comparing with the last two years data so that you can take a call whether this particular call you see some of you might have already filled up the isc bangalore call some of them still uh, filling up okay so this is okay you can take up a call whether uh, you know you because sometimes normally you know why students will think is okay isc means only 800 plus score 850 plus score no it depends on specialization to specialization for several specializations you have even the opportunities for 600 if you are gate score in general category 600 plus also you have uh, the opportunities okay so for that reason i made up this particular video okay similarly uh, as soon as i get uh, and collect the data of other important colleges i'll be uh, bringing the videos for that as well so that is why stay subscribed to the ohm institute youtube channel so that you can keep get, uh, keep getting important information like this with respect to uh, your your mtech admissions and as well as psu's announcements okay bye bye thank you stay safe and take care of yourself